trying to sell your home, opening your doors to potential buyers is a good idea. But police say two women took advantage of some sellers' hospitality and swiped thousands of dollars worth of items during open houses. News 8's Noel Gardner is live at a house on the market in Hamden with more on how to protect yourself. Noel. I want to bring you inside this Hamden home, just one of many on the market in Connecticut. The seller of this home is planning on having an open house this weekend. She knows the dangers of having strangers inside her home all too well. That's why she's cleared it out and put all the valuables away. If you plan on selling your home and having an open house, we've got your back tonight. There are some things you need to be aware of. Glastonbury police say two women dubbed the open house bandits went on a crime spree, allegedly stealing goods from open houses. 26 year old Angela Ruito and 43 year old Sharon Lynn Nigosanti were arrested for larceny. Police say they had been posing as mother and daughter looking to buy a home. It's just a strange feeling when people are walking around uh, to know that people are walking around in your home. Sheila Garvey's house has been on the market for several weeks. She knows open houses can be a magnet for thieves. I went through the house very carefully before I opened it up, even for a private showing. An open house can be an easy way for thieves to get into the front door. If you're showing your home, make sure your valuables are out of sight. Real estate agent Barbara Learer says opening a home to multiple people at a time can be challenging. You have to have an instinct about it. If you feel like something's wrong, something might be wrong. If I get someone that doesn't look me in the eye and has trouble signing in or scribbles a name, I'll follow them around. Learer says although open house thefts are rare, she's seen it happen. It was a hot new listing and three sets of people were there 20 minutes each. And the following day or two, my uh, seller noticed that she had jewelry missing. And real tours tell us, make sure you lock up your valuables, such as jewelry, your prescription medication, your money and mail. And keep your eyes peeled if you see a stranger walking your house with a big bag like this. And make sure they always show you their ID before coming in. We're live tonight in Hamden. Noelle Gardner, News 8.